Kyle that much shorter than you or something? Yeah, yeah he's a little midgets. CJ's a midget, Kyle's a midget, Johnny's a midget. Everybody's a midget that drives these damn things. harness bar down uh, so the shoulder straps um, go over Paul's shoulders uh, in the correct location so it doesn't hurt him or anything like that. He's been complaining about a little back pain, a little shoulder pain, so just trying to make it right for the shoulders.
ball, everything will stick to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know that. Shined up. Yeah, TJ, at this rate, we're gonna be a one can per tire. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know what this stuff is for, but it's working. It's shining them up. They look wet. Alright, we roll in, we roll in deep, boys. I don't know what y'all want me to do, but. Uh, <laughs> yours a rookie but new to pro four racing it seems like you're getting things figured out so how much fun has it been getting this pro four thing figured out uh, it's been a blast it's definitely a different style of racing than what i'm used to uh i understand i'm a rookie here so it's all right we are stoked to have you here and fresh off the podium this is paul wolf for pro four Granted, in the short course races, I don't do it. Like, but in the woods racing, like when you're on a long straight, I can I'll f dick around, clean shit off, like, it, cause it's like shift, shift, fourth gear. Okay, that's all it has. So you're just standing on it. And you're just like, Hold that yeah. You got it? Yeah, I had it twisted upside down trying to put it on. Hey, Justin, you got a radio copy?
Oh, no, we don't pull any motors. Or motors not pulling the tires off. Yeah, yeah, it's just pulling. If I stand in it, it just. And it turns two. Like on this particular race. We, had a, we were faster like early in the race. Like early in the race, I was faster than the guys in front of me. I just couldn't figure out how to pass them without just. I'm honest with you. I know, and it, but it's just one of the things like. It's not the race that you want to do. I, I, I don't mind doing it. I'm Got fine. It. But it's just like. Even in the Once we do that, we make enemies, people, and so nobody's gonna help people us. People weren't passing in the razors unless they were going. Yeah. Unless they were going yeah. out of the way. I just want to do it like I don't mind with Adrian because we were clean. Like I wasn't like well, yeah. cleaning him out. I was like up against him. You're yeah. just giving him a little love. And yeah, and I'm fine with there. that. But I don't. I think to pass somebody, you're gonna be a little more like aggressive, Ooh. and you give them yeah, a, like yeah. get them out of your way. Oh, dude. I try to Once we get you know fast enough him. to like really compete with them i think then we start calling them but right now we need to help so it's kind of like once we go to that point of we start hitting people and moving them they're not going to help us like we're not going to be able to go over here and, and ask to them. you know talk to them right. the other thing i noticed is like we got fast enough now here and it is like wrong like coming <laughs> yeah. to the start line i'm grabbing fourth gear if i don't the truck notes is over real hard yeah i noticed that and one then, time yeah I mean, it's because i hit the rev limiter i had to go to fourth gear then i got downshift twice to go through the Turn, yeah, if I take him third, it, it gets in and loads down and it won't pull third. So you have to hit the single after the, the finish line jump in four two, or you can uh, Yeah, so I, I did that once too. I kind of scared it and scared myself. I thought I heard the transmission. is On the back jump back there, um, I downshifted the second in the air because I was, I was clicking it in the fourth gear coming out because it would hook up and drive. And uh, I did it a couple times. It didn't really seem to help, so I started leaving it back in third. And I, I downshifted in the air and it didn't take it. It's so like I landed and it was like, wow, wow. It was just like free rev. And I was like, oh, f And I looked over and I looked down and it says it's in second gear. And I reached over and grabbed the shifter went and it fucking went in. And I'm like, okay, let's not do that again. So yeah, then no, I started I've, waiting. I've learned that thing. If you don't fully. Well, I think I think what I did is I hit it in the air right. and it didn't go all the way in because the tires weren't you like. Have on, a load on them. Yeah. And so I think I started waiting until it landed and then it would go right in. But I had to wait. And the thing was, like, I was landing, and I had to throw it immediately, or it wouldn't turn. It just go to the cushion. Yeah. So I was like, damn, they're throwing it way early. Right. And that's what I did when I tried to pass Adrian there, and, and I threw it, and I got in too tight. When I lost all the track, I spun out in the bowl. Like yeah, I got yeah. down in the bowl, and I was trying to get underneath of him because every lap he was going high, and of course the one I dive under him, he yeah. keeps it tight. Yeah, I'm trying to. Front dip definitely was just slipping. Uh, it was are we gonna just though. change it or are we gonna take it apart? I think I wanna rebuild that. That's fine. Did you get the new one? Yeah, I got the new one and I got the parts to rebuild this one with the new washers. I think we put the new washers in it and have it. And we had that 10,000 shim. Yeah. And throw it together and see what it What I like. notice is the harder I run it, the more it's, if I baby it, it doesn't slip. But if I like, when we get up next to people, I really start trying to like ask a lot out of it, that's when it starts to get up. slipping. Cause like it'll start. Guys, it, it truck didn't look like it was no, rolling. it ain't rolling near as much as it was before. And all the blue groove, sway bar. I think we need to do another cut somewhere. Are these not cut at all? Yeah, they're cheating. They're cheating cut. That's what Chris says. I think we need more. Yeah. For our last time. I'm just gonna compare them to everybody else. I imagine we're close to the same, but I would think that 52. everybody... 52. 52? What's 52. everybody else? 52. And you got, you got CJ with a 50, 50, and you got Jimmy with 51, and Baker Kids with 51. We're in the 52s now. We're gaining uh, a little bit of base on a second or two. So how'd it go out there? Uh, it wasn't actually good. Um, truck's working better. Still have a few things I want to try on it, um, and we will with time. But one race at a time, and we have to make sure that uh, we don't try too many things at once and not work. We got yet. Yeah, we got Hoosiers running a yeah. plane on his pit bike. Sorry. Right. We're running up camera. You think he film guy would know to shut that noisy piece of shit off? <laughs> Amateur. Pulling up. I 
that happen? Uh, apparently when you grab the shifter and jerk on it enough, you keep elbowing the dash. I bent it in a little bit, elbowing it so hard. Is Kyle that much shorter than you or something? Yeah, he's a little midgets. CJ's a midget, Kyle's a midget, Johnny's a midget. Everybody's a midget that drives these damn things. You get some man there a little bit taller, that way I get a better truck when I buy one used. <laughs> Hitting it, I okay. hit it every once in a while, but out there I fucking hit it every goddamn well, time. It didn't get shorter, I can tell you that. I felt like I got shorter. I might have compressed my spine and crammed it. <laughs> now I hit my elbow. <laughs> but with the seat belts like where they are now, I can feel it actually hold me down in the seat. Nah, not yeah. Enough but the first time, like every time we like come off a jump, it felt like it was breaking my collarbone. It was like pulling down so hard. Pulling down on you. Yeah. They used to say so that felt awesome. So the bar is in the right spot? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's way, way better than it's ever been. Uh, so just pull the diff tonight, get it torn down, put it back in the door. I'll probably give it in the I mean, if we can get it out, I'll be all right. I'll get it out, no problem. We ain't got to do tires or nothing. 916, right? Okay. Pull the stand off this panel. Yeah, pull this from here. Yeah. We got all the sockets to do all that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Take it easy, buddy. Yeah. 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 They're going to have a full car by the time they're 18. I know, that's what I think. I think it's that one song that John, is it Johnny Cash Johnny song? Cash. One piece at a time. One piece at a time. I get it one piece, piece at a time. time. Now We're going to have a whole body to put together. Now it all makes sense. When he's 18, you're going to have a whole body to put together. Yeah. And it'll make it one race. Yeah. You'll know when he comes to your town. Yeah. <laughs> Before a third, I was going to sweep right out with the fourth there. The truck didn't seem to want to rotate. But can I reach up and grab fourth or will yeah. it? The truck not no, you can do that, yeah. Had but had but had you gotta be cautious because when you stop the wheels from sliding, want straight. it's gonna want to straighten you out or hook a rut. So and then you're gonna go up on your lid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do it, Johnny. Yeah. I tried to yeah. run away from that. Johnny pointers, I'll listen. I'm all ears. <laughs> go faster, right? Yeah. Go faster. That's all <laughs> I know. Uh, my name is Luke Stubbs. I own Beyond Red Light Performance in Green Bay, and we do a lot of the tuning for the Pro 4s in this series. I was just pulling data uh, to check how the engine ran in the last race to make sure there's nothing wrong with it to see if we can improve anything for the next race. Being real tight on the right hander? Yep. And I felt like I was making a lot of ground up, yep. and then he told me to go up higher. And I felt like I was losing ground, which I was going to ask you about that. I think on you the need right hander? Yeah, on the right hander. So me and Daniel were talking about it, and early on I was going low under everybody. Everybody else was going up the cushion, and I was going down low, and I felt like I'd get a run on them going into the left-hander, and I could actually, that's when I was like bumping with Taney and my, or Kenny, and like trying to move forward a little bit, and then I started going higher in the right-hander, and I felt like I was falling back. Well, and then the you kept telling me to go high, and I'm like, well, maybe it's working, and I don't know. So, that's kind of what, well, The damn rut right there, it's in the turn one. I know you kept warning me, but I noticed I couldn't do it every time. Every once in a while, I'd come in and get the front tire hook it, and it would spin the truck around and it'd shoot right out. And I kept trying to do it, but I couldn't get it to like do it consistently. Well, I just wanted to keep reminding you. Yeah, no, you were fine. Because so that yeah. one time, I'm sitting there looking oh, at the bottom of the truck, yeah. and I'm like, remember that rut, remember <laughs> that rut. Yeah. Uh, one time it was up there. I was like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on, baby. Sit down, huh? But, yeah, I want to get a map of every track. And, and, and put, put it where we can. Yeah, so, I mean, you're, you're doing good, but just sometimes you just, 
We're doing way better than yeah. when we first started. And sometimes started. you just talk too much. But I feel like that's good because he never replies back unless he needs to reply back. Yeah, no, I just listen. I take it all in. And then I got that other radio. I would rather you talk too much than not enough. Right. So I'd rather you talk more than enough than not enough. But so, you just yeah. gotta use your passenger and driver's side. Because he's coming up on your, uh, on your passenger side. Right? <laughs> he's like, passenger drive, drive. What? My driver's side. I'm like, oh, too late. I'm already. And then I, I think I'm going to chime in more. Like, I try to chime in on people that are broke. Like, whenever he said, well, they've got a flat on them. Yeah. I can get Passenger front. And when CJ and them messed up, I tried my damage to run them motherfuckers down. But it seemed like every at the end, when I tried to push harder, I just go backwards. Yeah. I'm gonna let you break that panel. <laughs> oh, you need me to catch that? What the heck's for, I guess. 40. <laughs> Where are they at? Uh, it should be all in the corner of the toolbox right there, in the very corner in the back. There oh. should be a whole handful of them. What? T40s. All right, here's right here. Never mind, they hit them somewhere else. Yeah. I got them. Breaking them? I, said, no. I figured that, as we said, we were doing that brake rotor. I said, watch it. It breaks it breaks T40s apart. I said, don't worry, we got extra. This steering isn't on here. I have you something about it. I'm going to get that real quick. You ready? Yeah. There it is. That was the right one. How the fuck did you just get that out of there? I'm telling you, you gotta pull it like you're gonna break it. It's fiberglass is a little more forgiving than you think. Or carbon. Uh, what are you doing? I'm not there to lay with you. You can't lay on top of me tonight. Sorry. You lost your pillow. Oh my god, so we're in the What do you want to put it back in? I set it down for right here. Let's you just drain it, let it drain out, and I'll rebuild it in the morning. I'm interested to see what it looks like in the inside. That's the main reason why I just want to rebuild it. Just to see if the table will hold it. This table? No, we need to rebuild it. Alright, just Did you see how much work I did? I didn't did that one page. Why did it take y'all so long to get that gift back? Yeah. It was the uh, first time. So we, I watched you using a pry bar to get the easiest thing off. They wouldn't spin them. They would spin them in the drive shaft. That's because you was putting the bag on. Ratchet in the wrong spot. In the bottom. If you put it in the bottom, have it going, and then and do like that, it take it out. Then you take, then you go up, and you bring figured, it down, I, and then go. I figured that out on the, like the last. <laughs> We're gonna get good. Now I know why they rebuild these things every race. They can pull them out. They can pull them out real easy. Put them back in. So, I knew it didn't drop out. So once again, we had to remove the motor. Yes. <laughs> that's what everybody thought on Facebook last time. Really? Y'all had to pull that motor? Like, what was wrong with the motor? No, we just pulled the diff. <laughs> we pulled that motor out. We had to pull Little that bitty guy. We're putting us a new one in there. That's our brushless motor. Yeah. Yeah. We're new going electric. all electric. Mm -hmm. We got a generator in the back. Our traction control ain't working yet. I'm trying to get Elon Musk to help us out with it. Since Send us a programmer. I hit nothing on that side. I did. It hit the fire. Yeah. Well, there's banana. Hey, I'm pretty good with the press until it breaks. Hey, right. that shit will scare you too, buddy. Right there. I don't know what would have that off. The hood rubbing on it? Yeah, yeah, the hood was above the back. Okay, so that hood rubbing. It'd be hard. Boy, it'd be hard.
you may be able to do it like right there. Where's the diff out of the car? Uh, so we rebuilt it at ERX because uh, it wasn't pulling right, wasn't constant. Um, pull was slipping like a open differential. Um, and we figured out this race, you qualify in a practice, it felt good, but he could feel when he would throw it into a turn, he could feel the front end not wanting to pull or just wanting to spin one tire. Um, so we're pulling it out again tonight and I'm gonna fix it back up and put it back in tomorrow. 12 o'clock midnight. DJ, what do we got? We got some steak. Oh, that looks well. Steak. Very good. Look at that. It's pink. What up? This ain't Yeah. You know I ate like a quarter of that. So well, I it's, it's for like, you know, a little bit and then a little bit. Yeah. This one's, did I already give yours? No, uh, you uh, Still, you want this one? You want this one's a little guy. That one's smaller than that one. Yeah. You want that one? I'll take that one. My, my, my corn looks better. Okay, we'll the next day. <laughs> Bearing them out. Hey, there is no such thing. No. Tell me about your differential. How often will you build it typically? So we just rebuilt it two rounds ago by ERN. Done wonderful. Uh, it Qualifying and practice it done great here at Lena, but we noticed yesterday uh, during the race they started slipping again. Um, so we pulled it out. It's got these weird clutch packs that sit in beside in two gears, and that's what keeps it. The, the torque of it keeps it locked together, but it's just, it still is a differential. So once those clutch packs uh, wears, that starts opening up, then it becomes completely open. Completely open, and that's not what we want. What? I already accepted it.
minutes later. That track out there's like asphalt. Dude, this after where it would not turn. Well, we just went over it and come back through. Yeah. Oh, cool. uh, so you're gonna have gear all over your ass. Yeah. I thought maybe something broke. I don't know. I couldn't get the turn. At the end, like it would. I think it was just pushing you all the way across the roads. Yeah, like it wouldn't bite and turn at all. It was turned, but it wasn't turned. Yeah. Early on, it was doing good. Like, I did a little rubbing against old Holcher there. Mm. Pushing his ass out of my way. I thought we were going to go somewhere early. Like, yeah, right. I was like, oh, hell yeah, we got a good truck. It's fucking moving. It looked good at the beginning. It did. It started out real good, and then it just fucking like slowly started fading, and then it went to like nothing. Could not get it to turn no let's, matter what. Uh, let's get it out there. Oh, you want to scrape it? I'm sorry. I'm sure. I ripped my earplugs out somewhere. In the truck? Yeah. Oh. No, I jerked them out when I was racing. They caught something and I fucking ripped them out. I ripped them down out of my ears. Oh, I could hear them, but I, it was, my ears were ringing because I could hear the truck too. Was, yeah. It was he said, what'd you say? I felt like I was fucking yelling in there. I guess I wasn't yelling loud, but. Oh, we had something early on. I was trying to go. Yeah. I thought we had a fast truck early on. Oh, well, I'm, I think the slicker, as soon as that track starts getting the groove, we lose forward because we're running that. I don't think it's that. I think it's <laughs> Like you watch everybody else go in and their front stays down, ours doesn't go down. I think <laughs> I think it may hurt us early in the race, but when it gets to the end of the race, we'll have a truck that can drive. Early on, yeah, early on, Ooh. it was good. Like I could drive, I could get it to do what I wanted. Then it just went nothing. Like, the minute the track got slick, it was pleasant there. Finishes. Yeah. Nobody finishes there. Yeah, you just gotta you finish. finish every race in the Bouncer World. You're top You're five top. in the championship. Top. My wife got top five in the championship. <laughs> you got, you I ain't gonna it. lie. When we restacked for the competition caution, I was like, "Damn, there's more trucks here than normal." <laughs> <laughs> I was off my head. I'm like, "What comes way back here?" God damn it! Like, I gotta get it going. I can't fuck around. Second day in the truck. Good, good. We actually early we had a. I felt like a fast truck, and I felt like I could actually go forward in it, um, which is different than I've ever felt. And then the track went away, and the truck went backwards. Like I don't. At the end, I had really just, I couldn't even get it around the track almost. Like it was really bad. Um, but early on, we had an excellent truck. Uh, I was really happy with it. We got to do battling, trade some paint. And, Robin's racing and uh, it was a good time. So 
had a lot of fun, and then, uh, yeah, we just, at the end there, I don't know what was going on. You had a couple really good saves. I thought you were going around, and you managed to pull out of them. That was yeah, pretty um, so we did a bunch of work to the front end, and uh, it's actually a lot different than it's ever been, um, and I think it's a huge improvement for my driving style. It's a little more aggressive on the locking, and uh, it tended to help me pull out of a lot more stuff so I could put the truck in worse positions or practice, like over-rotate it, and it could get it to come out of it. So it was a, a lot better in that aspect. Um, so we're definitely making progress. Um, we finished fifth. I was happy with that. Um, I wish I could have got up to the third or the podium, but uh, I made a mistake in the second half of the race. Pretty early on, um, it was a little too aggressive. I couldn't actually save it. I had to spun out, I had to back up. Uh, and that kind of hurt us really bad for the rest of the race. But uh, hey, that's racing, stuff happens. And what's the deal with the sweet tea? Is that like some special recovery sauce? Or? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just thirsty and I wanted something with some sugar because uh, I haven't drank much sugar today. So sweet tea. Sweet tea it is. Yeah.